So with the next screenshot showing Connie at the exit of the slaughterhouse with the Hinkle and Hooper sign up on the right side, the cook coming up to either feed Connie her impending doom or she might just make it out at the last second. This picture is full of so much detail that Gunn and Sumo Nottingham have both worked hard to create that immersive, authentic feel when it comes to each of their maps. Every time we get a good shot of the environments, the, the way the overgrowth looks, the detailing of the area really makes you feel like you're grounded in this Texas environment. This event right here in the screenshot seems to take place right here on the Slaughterhouse map. And going into a little bit of what Wes and the team have talked about uh, in the past, touching on it, is not only does the picture look super detailed to really place you into the atmosphere of everything, but the birds and the bugs at nighttime and the uh, the things that they had to study, like the electrical, what kind of electrical poles were used back then, the equipment used to get the electricity running and functioning back in the 70s around that time, down to everything, obviously, like the clothes that they wear. Everything that you see in the environment, every piece of equipment, every tool, everything down to the smallest detail will be placing you into the 70s and in the Texas environment. And while a lot of these details to the average player will go unnoticed, it'll be one of those things that you are passively taking in and immersing you in the moment, so to say. So that way when you do have all your chases and your stealth moments and all of these experiences that'll happen while you're playing, you're getting it in an authentic Texas environment and this is just going to really help to deliver a true experience, that true Texas Chainsaw experience that you can only get in this game and nowhere else. And right now they've talked about, you know, the slaughterhouses in the daytime, the family house is at sunset, sunrise kind of a look, and then the gas station is at nighttime. This seeing all the great detailing of everything on every map really has me excited if they do go the option of creating different times of day for each of these maps as well because then it'll feel like you know that you're experiencing each map totally different than before now you can see even on the ground they have a thick cord electrical cord that looks like it's going out over to the uh the gate right over there and you have the little box next to the gate which is lit up green which i think would be indicating that the gate is safe to touch and now Connie is going in and having to get it unlocked to go ahead and leave the premises. So you're gonna have this adrenaline rush moment of hurry up and get this gate open. You know that scene from Evil Dead where she's trying to get the door unlocked to get in the house before the demon gets there? Like you're gonna have those moments in this game and it's going to be very exciting. Now yes, DBD has the same kind of thing where you're trying to wait on the gate to unlock so you can escape. But I think here, because everything, you know, the avatars are real life to size, the super amounts of detail, the sounds of the chainsaw, the sound of the cook yelling after you when he's chasing you, it's all going to give you that, that feeling and this tone to the game that I think is going to surpass anything we've seen in the past from any of these types of games. So with all that kind of wrapping around an entire experience, like again, I think this is going to be something special to get into. That's where I'm going to end this one off, you guys. Have a good one. I, will, I can't wait for this. I will see everybody later. Bye-bye.